play-by-play, play, Donald Trump, the Fry Guy. If you watch the news media's coverage of the Al Smith Catholic Charity Dinner from last week, they didn't want to show you Donald Trump reaching over and patting Chuck Schumer on the shoulder gently. This went against the narrative that Donald Trump is a mad dictator, a lawless insurrectionist who will begin imprisoning his political opponents should he get into office. Donald Trump does not go along with the media narratives crafted around him. Let's take a look at the reaction of the news media when he broke their careful narrative made over the weekend that Donald Trump was tired and exhausted and exhibiting poor health. Here's what MSNBC said. Side order of lies. Dowd reacts to Trump working at McDonald's. MSNBC. The difference between work and Trump's staged McDonald's theatrics. The last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Trump pretends to work at McDonald's. Well, that is the central premise. Did Donald Trump actually make french fries at McDonald's? I guess that's the central debate issue of our time. Did Donald Trump make his own fries and serve customers based on his own work? At McDonald's, but I never did. I'm running against somebody that said she did, but it turned out to be a totally phony story. So if you don't mind, I want to work the french fry counter. Absolutely. Okay, how much are you paying me? How much are you paying? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Indy is here. She has, this is Indy. She has an apron for you. Oh, really? Thank you, job on the first day. I think I should... Now, McDonald's Corporation cannot endorse any candidate, but that doesn't stop a locally owned and operated McDonald's, as the sign says behind Donald Trump, from letting the candidate come and do some cooking for customers. Now, keep in mind there's not that when Kamala Harris boasted as a candidate that she had once worked at McDonald's, there was nothing preventing her from doing the same thing. And obviously, the news media would not have called that a stunt. But just look at the way people interact with Donald Trump. He's, he's not a hater, and he's not hated by the people who meet him. So what the media concocts as a narrative about Donald Trump basing his campaign on hate and division, they're actually describing the Kamala Harris campaign. Donald Trump loves this country and, what's, and wants what's best for every American. JoJo's going to teach you some not have the same attitude. And this is Frank. He's going to be more than happy to help you teach Frank. Let's go. We're going to start over here on the fry hole. I'm going to take the lead at first and show you the basics. Then I'll pass it over to you. All right. So, first of all, yeah, come on. Come on over. Thank you, sir. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a basket of fries. Yeah. Just a little bit of fry. We're going to slowly and gently lower them in. We don't burn ourselves. We're going to take a fry timer. And then we got a lot of fries there. So we're going to cut another basket out. Grab the basket out. So this is not just a demonstration. He's got two baskets there. They've got a lot of hungry customers outside. And we've got to get going. Now, within a couple of seconds, the duty timer is going to go off. When that duty timer goes off, that basically means that the fries, we need to lift them out of the oil and shake them so that way they don't get stuck together. Um, and then after that, we're going to put it back down. We're going to let the, the fryer cook. And then when they're done, we're going to bring them over here. So over here, you have all your fry cartons right here. There's a duty timer. So duty timer, we're going to press it. We'll lift it out of the oil. Give it a couple shakes. Put it back as well. Okay. Anything over here, timer, out of oil, couple shakes. Now, we're going to find out very quickly here if Donald Trump was paying attention. He sounds like he's paying attention. But the fry cook has demonstrated that you must lower the basket very slowly back into the hot oil. If you just drop it, it's going to splash boiling oil on your hands, possibly on your face. And when those are done cooking, um, our fry station, we got extra small, small, medium, and large part is already there for you. Um, a lot of our orders today are going to be medium, so that's what we're focusing on. We've got the active salt dispenser right here, so we're going to dump that on there. The way that this works, it is already measured for you, all the salt, so all you got to do is turn it over, let it dispense, and that's out. Yep. Um, that's really bad. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you done this? Uh, eight years. You're very good at it, right? I, I 
I don't think Kamala Harris would have similar respect for this man's job. Another thing, we want to make sure we separate the fries when we put them into the fry station. So we don't want to mix old fries with new fries. Uh, we want to keep all fresh and ready for the customers. Um, I can show you real quick this with a carton. When you're opening these cartons, you're going to push them aside. Push that, move that bottom part up, and that's that. And then we're going to hold them like this. This is the same training that any new trainee gets. Your grandpa or your elderly father may get a job at McDonald's and need to be instructed by a younger person, just like Donald Trump. So if things don't work out for him on November 5th, he always has a fallback job here. Many of those. <laughs> I probably had more than you. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty sad when you get to make You don't want to squeeze too hard because then you're going to be kind of packing the fries in. So we're going to make sure the fries we put them in through the... Yep, exactly. We're going to grab our fries scoop and we'll put them in there and that'll be that. Um, also, when the fries come up, we're going to give them a squirrel, make sure they're all evenly salted and everything like that. And we'll put them on the fry ribbon ready to go for the, for the orders. Um, what is it, mostly medium size? Exactly. What, what percentage would that be? That's going to be a dare question. What percentage of medium fries? Yeah, I don't, I don't, but mostly, I think he's so... He's asking questions. He's curious about the product. Location is a little different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like that. That's good stuff. And then once, once these come up, I'll salt them. I'll make a couple. Now, MSNBC is characterizing this segment as Donald Trump appearing sick, unhealthy, and ailing. He's, he's about to drop dead, according to MSNBC. Do you see anything in this segment that corroborates the angle that they had pre-written for Donald Trump? They have a bunch of news angles pre-written for Donald Trump, and then they put them out for the public to see if they have any traction or they gain traction. And this weekend, Kamala Harris rolled out a new campaign ad calling Trump tired and exhausted. And she went and introduced this on a speech on the weekend. Well, Donald Trump flipped that narrative on its head. Does this man look exhausted? For us, and then I'll pass it over to you, and I'll have to stand by and say, Very good. Very good. And we'll probably drop it. Once, once it's your turn, we'll probably drop another basket, and then I'll take care of these. You'll take care of your basket. Good job, isn't it? Not yeah. bad, right? Yeah. Very good. Have a nice owner. <laughs> he's joking, he's carefree, he's calm, he's collected. Does this look like a mad dictator to you? There's nothing inauthentic about Trump, and I can see why Kamala Harris did not do a similar scene of working at a McDonald's cash register, the McFlurry station, or being the fry guy. Fake news. They've never seen crowds like that. 
take you a long time to read that one. Uh, that's a lot of people. What do you think? Uh, well, let us say, you gotta report back. There's something going on. Something's happening. He's having the time of his life. This is not an angry man. This is not a man who's going to open concentration camps or do any of the crazy things that they accuse him of. Every lie that they tell on behalf of Kamala Harris, you have to ask yourself, why doesn't anyone at the network news, CNN, MSNBC, ever stop and think that the more lies they tell about Donald Trump, they're actually making Kamala Harris look worse? Lowered into the oil. Uh, no. gotcha. There you go. And then we're going to hit our fry timer right here. Yeah. Trump is cooking those fries. Put them in himself. And he's cooking and he's got the timer going. Right now watch this. This is key. Okay. This is the most important scene here. If Donald Trump had not been paying close attention to the fry cook's instruction. A few minutes earlier, he could have seriously burned his hands, maybe splashed hot oil up into his face. McDonald's was my first job, and I would sometimes see newbies just drop the fry basket into the boiling oil, and the oil would, of course, splash right out. You could be seriously injured with third-degree burns if you don't pay attention to the instructions being given. Now look at that agent in the back, standing in the doorway. If Trump messes this up, if Trump was not paying attention, that agent can't, can't help him. He can't save him from the serious burns here. This is something that a new employee would not even be given to do on their very first attempt. They'd watch a training video and then get this instruction. So Donald Trump had to rise to the challenge after only one instruction on doing this, and he's doing it properly. I can't tell you how dangerous this is, but Donald Trump and he's using both hands also, because you cannot do this one-handed, even if you're 19 years old. You need two hands and a firm grip on the basket. I don't recall this man actually telling him to do that, but Trump instinctively knew he needed both hands, and you also need both hands to dump the fry basket onto the uh, station. Right there also. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Now we're waiting for that duty time, because now when that duty time comes up, again, hit the timer. Take it out the oil slowly, give it a little shake so that we don't get stuck together, and then lower it back into the oil. Okay. So probably, this one will probably go off before anybody else. Now, there we go. That'd be good, guys. So now lift it out of the oil. So MSNBC lied. They said that he did not actually make these fries. Every news service that told you that Donald Trump faked making these fries, they lied. And all it would have taken then, was three minutes of viewing to see that Donald Trump watched the demonstration and then did it properly. Here he's fluffing the fries so that they don't clump together. We'll give that a few seconds. I'm going to need a few more fries. Let's make some more. Got about 10,000. So this is my favorite part of the video. The fry cook is telling Trump, giving him instructions on what he needs to do next because the fry cook's over here preparing the order. He's telling Donald Trump, you need to get busy making more fries while I work on the finished product over here. I, 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 just, I just really enjoy seeing a billionaire being told what to do while the McDonald's employee is working on other stuff. It's like, get to it. Big crowd there. That's a big crowd, huh? Mr. Trump, why did you feel it was important to come here today? Uh, I love McDonald's. I love jobs. I like to see good jobs. And I think it's inappropriate when somebody puts down all over the place that you worked at McDonald's. It was a big part of her resume that she worked at McDonald's, how tough a job it was. Uh, she specifically worked at the French fry, where they make the French fries. And she talked about the heat. It was so tough. She never worked at McDonald's. McDonald's just confirmed that again, by the way. She never worked at McDonald's. In other words, she's lying Kamala. <laughs> it's a great setup, huh? So what's the second handle for a lefty? Just a small thing, but he's obviously campaigning. He's not a McDonald's employee. And the 30 photographers are not waiting at the drive-thru window by accident. 
But when he was being given instruction, you notice he did not interrupt. He did not make quips about Kamala Harris. He was attentive and paid attention. If Donald Trump had not paid attention, he could have been going to the hospital by this point with third degree burns. He paid attention and he listened when he needed to. Exactly. Yeah, that's, so you have left, you said that. Exactly, yes. And then also sometimes we have no salt fries, you got to right hand, right hand, right hand, left. That's where you did. Exactly. So this one's not done. Yeah. 20 seconds on that one. And that one's up. We're going to we'll start beeping. We'll say pull. We're going to hit the pull timer. We're going to lift it out of the oil. We're going to hook it onto here. Lift the handle up to let it drain. Give like 10 seconds. Once it's done draining, we're going to bring it over to the left side. Put it into there. Salt. Do they have some? Looks good, huh? These are definitely fresh. <laughs> the good thing they're definitely fresh. Can you take a step back, sir? Yeah. And then I pull. Exactly. And we're going to right onto there. Okay. And I shake a little bit. Now, the stupid cameraman is telling the fry cook to step back. No. The fry cook has a job to do, and he's instructing Trump. STFU, this guy's doing his job, and so is Trump. Let them work. And then we're going to bring this handle up towards the sky. So that way it'll get rid of the oil. And that's it. Donald Trump has that's completely bring them over made that basket of fresh. Now, you need both hands to do this. If you do that one-handed, you will drop that basket down mm -hmm. with a massive crash. I've done that myself. That thing is heavy. You have to use both hands to control it. And Trump instinctively sensed this, even though he wasn't told to do this. Oh, it's really hot. See if you can touch that sucker. I don't think so. Then we're going to bring that basket far right all the way over to the right and hang it right up there. This is perfect construction. And then we got another pull timer. we got that timer. Bring that one up. I'm going to take care of these. Okay. Get to work, Mr. Trump. I'm working over here. I love it. She's outside. Who's that? It's here. That's right. It's making fries. You see the staff behind Trump. The happy meal. He's making happy meal. That's right. The staff behind Trump. They are so proud to see him doing this work. Salt over here. The happy meal. I did these ones over here. Good. He's got to do that one right there. So grab that. Don't give him extra salt. No, no, no. Don't give him extra salt. That's good. Right there. And then we're gonna grab the fry scoop right here. Is that McDonald's? We're making the order there. He's a good man, isn't he? Okay. Where's the little thing? Medium fry part right here. Sides. That's my comment. Yeah, what is the fries? Never even my daughter it. offering commentary. She helps on the plate. That's okay. Can I give it to these guys here? Thank you. Want to do another one? Yeah. So again, we're going to sides, bottom. And then we're going to hold it so like this. So let's recap what happened so far. Okay. Exactly. Oh, that's my microphone. Maybe you can leave it there. I'm talking about that. So Donald Trump was given a complete demonstration, but only once, and he was very attentive. He did it properly without burning himself. I don't believe he drained that last fry basket completely good, but he did give it a final shake, so he was getting the grease out of there. He's asking appropriate questions, like the fry scoop there has a mount for left-handed people too. Trump's using both hands, he's controlling the product, he's not going to drop it on his foot or have it come down with a crash. He's doing a better job than I think I did the first time I did the fries by myself. I think he's having the time of his life here. And he hasn't even gotten to the best part of handing the bags to the customers at the drive-thru. And we're going to take from these ones first. It is first in first out the precious one. Whether Donald Trump wins or loses, I am proud to be an American with a candidate like this running for high office. This man just makes me proud to be alive in America in 2024. And to see someone like this, he is humble. He is full of humility when he needs to be. And he's braggadocious when, it calls, when that's called for, too. But now he can brag that he followed instruction. Never touched by a human hand. Nice and clean. Never touched by human hands. Of course, my hands are nice. He's and actually good. shocked by that. Yeah. He hasn't worked back at McDonald's. How would this he guy's know? a good instructor. I appreciate it. I'm going to give a really big one so that... Yeah, they're getting extra fries. He's, he's using too much product. <laughs> How good is that, Margo? Here, Margo, have them. 
<laughs> so we got the first he's customer. Be they have not seen Donald Trump. Though. They he's the know only he's one there. Can afford to have him. Now, you like you go I really want to see him. Let's let the fry cook do his job. Let's have Trump actually serve the customers. We might actually get faster service if we get him to just handing bags to customers. Which is what he could have just done if he wanted to. Oh, here we go, folks. Oh my god, Donald Trump. We've been told he's a racist. We've been told he hates black people and any minority of any kind. Watch the vicious, bigoted, pre prejudicial, mean-spirited attack Trump's going to unleash on this person for not sharing his skin color. Let's take a look. As the media has told us. Because you know who's taking these, right? Mine. Do they ever ask for more salt? Supposing we want some extra salt, can it just go like that? Um, we will give them salt, thank you. Watch this, <laughs> I love salt. Wait a minute, I spilled some. I'm very superstitious. Now it's over the left shoulder. Now I'm okay. Let's go. Oh, that's strange. MSNBC and the other news outlets told us that Donald Trump was the most evil man alive, intolerant and bigoted. Um, I'm not really seeing that in evidence here. Perhaps the media is just lying about him so that their political party gains power, but that would make the reporting that we're seeing dishonest. Huh. Yeah, fine. Put him in standing up, right? All right. You're an expert at this, huh? How long have you done, done this? How long have you been? Um, I've been working with Donald Trump for 10 months. 10 plus? Yeah. Now, the news, news media was also incorrect in saying doing a good job? the people Actually, in the drive better, right? were vetted yeah. yeah. somehow Beautiful. as Trump supporters. Yeah, so. Nothing of the sort happened. I mean, obviously, they might have been got my plans yeah. over for weapons in the vehicle, but these are simply many, people who live in that township in Pennsylvania, and they're lucky enough to have come through the drive through first while Donald Trump was going to serve them. That's it. There's nothing fake about this. This is an honest interaction between a candidate and his voters. Look at the kids waiting in the back there. Those aren't vetted Trump supporters flown in to help his campaign. Those are customers, and they're waiting to be fed. We like Donald Trump. He's got the hat. Like Hello, everybody. This is not a normal situation, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good looking family. I think I can just see it. He's getting a good <laughs> When we go to the drive through this is what happens, right? <laughs> you want to go get a happy meal at McDonald's? I'll take you there after we're done making this play by the book. This is all on Trump. He's paid for these orders. This isn't fake. This isn't fabricated. That's right. Donald Trump paid for the meals that day. Is that a crime against humanity? The news media probably wants another indictment of Trump over this. He should be indicted for having this. Call Jack Smith. We need a new indictment. Think of all the knuckleheads trying to put this man in prison. And he doesn't share any of the hatred of those trying to lock him up. Isn't that amazing? Why doesn't he reflect the hatred directed at him? He doesn't. Now that was a fast customer. Grab some bag of those. That, that would have been me. I would have been too nervous to say one damn thing. All right, let's see who comes next. And this is their I mean, that's thousands of people. Hello, how are you? What a beautiful woman. Donald Trump inspires hatred. It's like the perfect looking person. The news media has told you this entire year that Trump supporters are full of hatred, that Trump incites violence, that Trump incites hatred. Everything they tell you is a lie about Donald Trump. And they think they're helping Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz by lying about Trump. But they're actually making Kamala Harris look worse. Because if she needs this much help, why is she running for president? If Kamala Harris needs the help of a million reporters, news editors, and news agencies, and Donald Trump doesn't need any of their help, which one is actually qualified and competent? It's not Kamala Harris.
You know why MSNBC did not this carry guy. any I'm not of this live. Huh? They didn't want you to hear the truth. That's why they talked over Trump. They call him crazy and unhealthy. So this is compliments of you, okay? All right. You go have a good time. Don't eat too much, right? Thank you, man. Thank you, honey. Have a good time. Thank you. It's cute. This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Thank you. This is the face of hate. Look at that. Thank you, Mr. President. Nice to see you. You made it possible for ordinary people like us to meet. You're not ordinary. I mean, thank you so much. What a great response. You're not ordinary. Great for you. And you are the type of person we want to be the president. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He says, yeah, I took a bullet. She said, thank you for taking a bullet for us. So, legal immigrants love Trump. Why is that? Because he loves America, and so do they. Thank you, Mr. President. When you think about it, I guess that's it. Thank you very much. Beautiful wife. Yes, go ahead. I thought Trump hated all people who didn't look like him. That's what the media tells us every day. Why would they need to reinforce that line every day? This will be your next order, the next order. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm having a lot of fun here, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at all the fake news over there. Hello, everybody. You can take this, right? And you know, this is compliments of Trump, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. Mr. President, yes. please don't let the United States become Brazil, my native Brazil. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll please, keep it good. Please, please, please. We're going to make... Again, another legal immigrant. She's from Brazil, and she says, please, do not let America become another Brazil. It's said that you can vote your way into communism, but only bullets will get your country out of communism, and that's so true. Look at what communists have done to Venezuela, Brazil, Nicaragua, Cuba, Zimbabwe, Vietnam, China, and, of course, Russia. Communism kills and everyone who emigrates from a communist country run by progressive leftist socialists can tell you that they are much happier being here in america as legal immigrants trump loves legal immigration the news media won't tell you that but this lady just told you that and she didn't need a filter from msnbc talking heads to lie to you about it either this is the candidate of hate and division. Thank you. Where? I don't see it. How good are these people? The news media can't stand seeing Americans express the blood of Donald Trump. Have you seen the I guarantee you they use less than 5% of this footage on any news service, like Fox or news. This is my guy, great, great cinematographer. Not enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not enough. I want more. I want more money. No, I'm, I'm big. I'll tell you what, it's a great franchise, it's a great company, and they've been very, very nice. And, uh, and come on, you know, if, if you look at really what's happening, look at the crowd over there. Look how happy everybody is. They're happy because they want hope. They need hope. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to give much more than hope. We're going to make, we're going to take hope and make it fact. Mr. President, you actually have worked at McDonald's now. Versus now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Okay, she, she never worked here. I've now worked 15 minutes. So the issue, obviously, is not that we need a corporate news media having thousands of journalists and investigators researching whether Kamala Harris actually worked at McDonald's in California. The uh, real issue here is which candidate comes across as genuine and human. I think the play-by-play -play speaks for itself, so that's where my commentary ends. Whatever you do, make sure to vote this election. If you have a crazy uncle 
who is holed up in his house and says the whole election is rigged and there's no reason to vote, get him a um, early mail-in ballot. If you have an aunt who's living at home with a thousand cats and she says she's not bothering to vote because she doesn't like Trump's mean tweets or she was told he doesn't like women, get her to the voting precinct on November 5th. Every person you know needs to go vote or else communism wins. And once our country goes communist, it will be decades, perhaps never, for America to recover from that fate. Please vote and vote for America first. Thank you.